Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about being slow at programming. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, if I am slow at programming and solving different problems, does that mean that I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm going to, I'm not going to improve or just that I need more practice? Well, that's a uh, I think that that's a bit of a that's a pretty binary way of looking at it, which is not really true. Like I don't think that you're understanding the your predicament or like what the real what the real uh, course of events is going to be here. Let me try to back that up a little bit and say that if you practice enough, it, you're definitely going to get better that's for sure like there is no discussion about it. if you are a beginner at anything literally anything and you do it for long enough you're going to see an improvement now the thing though is that even though you do it quite often or a lot that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to continue progressing and the rate at which you progress is down to a set of very complicated factors everything from the the way that the learning material is structured, how your mind works, like how do you actually learn, do you actually know even yourself what type of system works best for you because I'm sorry to to say this the way that traditional schools work and so forth may not necessarily be the best way for you to educate yourself the way that your teacher structures your courses and so forth may not be the best way for you to learn there are many types of learning and the best thing for you is if you have enough self-awareness to actually know what type of system works for you I've seen people and I'm as an example I, that's that's something that I know about myself I am shit at tests. If you put me, if you ask me to study really hard for a test and then you ask me a bunch of static questions where, well, I just need to write an answer, that's really hard for me. If you give me a, a task, if I need to do something or solve a specific problem and I can kind of try some stuff out and see which thing works best for me, I will do much better. These sorts of insights about yourself will dictate a lot on of how fast you will improve. But even so, just as fitness, which is my favorite analogy to software development, you have a set of conditions, a set of, uh, you, every single person has a, uh, we're born with different, uh, well, we're, we're, we're bo or all born differently, basically. And that means that even though you, if you progress and you improve, there is going to be a point where you realize that you've been doing this for many many years and you're still not as good as someone who may have been doing it half the time or someone who's been doing it for as long as you like you you're always going to be if you compare yourself to somebody else somewhere on the scale it doesn't matter if you've worked out your entire life that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to win uh, the olympics or you're going to be a bodybuilder or whatever like it th that's uh, there's more to it uh, and it's a very very complicated set of uh, of uh, properties and events and the well let's just say that it's very complicated but all of, all of this is true there is one thing that I think that you should think more about which which I feel it seems at the very least that you're missing out in the way that you post your question and the thing that seems to be missing is why are you concerned whether or not you're going to be able to be as good as everybody else or to be among the best think about it this way instead you know for a fact is that if you stick by something and you try to improve at that thing you're going to get better at it the only thing that you should concern yourself with is if the skills that you acquire will get you to the point you need to be 
And that's the thing that I think that you really need to remember when it comes to software development, because it's really easy, and this is not just with software development, it's with everything. Everybody compares themselves in many cases, in, in many cases, to other people. But what's, what's more, most important is that you have the skills to do the job. That's the thing that counts. It doesn't really matter all that much if you're the best programmer who ever lived, or if you're even in the top brass, if, even if you're an average programmer, or even slightly below average. That's not the important part. The important part is, do you have the skills to do the job so well that someone will pay you for it, or that you can start uh, you know, your own company or something like that and actually do it for somebody else. Because not every single software, piece of software that has ever been written needs to be written by someone who is, I don't know, a famous super programmer. We're never going to get anything done if that's, the only, uh, if that's the bar. And that's the big fat oversight or lie, let's call it that, in, so in IT, which where you, you get to a point where you believe that there's some super requirement to be a software developer and yes sure there is a requirement and that's the thing that you really need to figure out for yourself if you're going to be able to meet that the base requirement if you're not able to get there then yes you're probably in, this industry is probably not for you and there's no shame in that you should you can go and look at other professions there's other things out there trust me there's tons of stuff but if you if you feel that you have progressed, if you progress enough and you get to a point where you can actually do the job, don't like, don't feel bad about not being as fast as everybody else or feeling like you're stagnating because the, that that is not uh, unless your goal is to be the best software developer ever lived, it shouldn't matter to you because you have already reached the goal. It's like it's the difference for me uh, f from another perspective. It's the difference between trying to get into really good shape. And trying to be the be a bodybuilder or be an a, like a professional uh, athlete, those are the different perspectives. If you want to be a professional bodybuilder, yes, you're gonna have to push yourself, and you're gonna have to have some genes, and you're gonna have to have some circumstances to be able to get to those types of levels. But to be really, really fit, the bar is much lower, and you can still still look pretty good. So what I want you to take away from this is that. Even if you're slow at programming, even if it doesn't come natural to you, I promise you, if you continue progressing, you will improve. Yes, as long as you keep at it. I know that for a fact, because you, do you think that programming came naturally to me? To me? No. I had to work quite hard to get good at it, which is the case for most developers. It's not something that you naturally just understand. Some people are really lucky and are, have more aptitude than others, but there's always a range. And that's the key thing to take away here there's a range and the only thing that you should concern yourself with if you want to make a career out of this is if you if you get good enough that's the thing and that you can figure out fairly early on if you see that you're struggling to understand even basic concepts and nobody's hiring you or you're being turned down for every job well at some point you're going to give up most likely how long you're willing to stick by it that's up to you but the main thing there to understand is you don't have to be a master programmer like everybody else because everybody's born with different conditions maybe you are the best ever at something else and this doesn't come natural to you trust me I made that choice a long time ago there are things that I'm much better at than programming but I really liked it so I stuck by it and got good enough to actually be able to do it at the professional level and if whether or not you or me or anybody else is like the best programmer ever well if you don't care about being the best programmer ever, don't put that sort of pressure on you. Have a great day.